Okay, let's look for clues and look for coins. Look at all this fresh produce, Professor. The flag bears some coat of arms, it seems. It seems people here do not need to rely on barter. They have their own currency. Oh, come on, are there are no coins? There's been coins in every scene so far. No, I don't think there's coins here. Now, nah, look. <clears throat> They're selling various equipment. Swords and shields are lined up on the display counter. Alright, let's talk to these dudes. We finished patrolling this area then? Yes, sir! Nothing to report at present, sir! Hmm, we must be even more on our guard than usual today. Yes, sir! Oh, uh, by the way, Captain. Uh, yes? I don't mean to alarm you, but there appears to be a couple of unusual characters approaching our vicinity, sir! What? Oi there, you two! What business do you have with the Order of Knights? Oh, uh, uh well, um, uh, we just wanted to ask a few questions about the area. Uh, about the Order of Knights. Are you really... real knights? What's that? You're not poking fun at the Order of Knights, are you? Mm, uh, that was certainly not our intention. We were merely noting that your appearance is somewhat unusual. You're saying we're unusual, are you? Well, that's an unusual thing to say. We usually patrol Labyrinthia, doing our usual duty of keeping the usual order. Tell me, what's unusual about that? If anyone's unusual here, it's you two! And I find it quite unusual that I've never seen either of your characters before. Which part of town are you from? We, um, uh, just came here in the back of a wagon. Through the gate over there. But then we noticed the gate is varnished. You didn't, you didn't see anything, did you? Kate, what gate? But, there was a gate. We just came through it from all sides. Outside? Now, I've been patient with you two, but nothing you're saying makes a lick of sense. Uh, my apologies. I'm afraid it has been a while since we've been here on the main street. And I seem to remember there having been a gate of some sort around here. But, Professor... Luke, I think it would be prudent to play along here. There's definitely something fishy about you two. Captain, I don't suppose those two are... No, I doubt that, although they do look and act strangely. Maybe we could test them to see if they really do live here? A test. Yes, that might be a good idea. I know a good way of deciding whether you two are dubious characters or not. What, what are you going to do? Well, it's very simple. If you really are upstanding members of this community, then you'll be able to solve this. Solve? Solve what? Luke, it appears this town has puzzles similar to those of our own world. What are you mumbling about? Are you ready? Then here we go. <clears throat> oh boy, puzzle. Puzzle six. Night training. <clears throat> Everyone knows that here at the Order we strive for excellence. Ensuring you can properly block any attack with your shield is an integral part of maintaining that reputation. We're not leaving here until each and every one of you shows me you can block. Now go show me what you've got. Alright, for this I think I'm going to actually go to a different template. There you go, just so we can see the bottom screen better. Here we go. <clears throat> so it says, touch the piece that you would like to move on the touch screen below. Slide the stylus to move that piece around the screen. Okay. When you have found the desired location for the piece, release it by lifting the stylus from the screen. Block all the swords. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Let's think about this. That sword needs to be blocked, which means...
Let's see here. We're almost there. No, because that guy needs to be stabbing down. A little tricky, but I'll figure it out. Let's see. Problem is, this guy's getting stabbed in the back now. Huh. There's no one else that's blocking down, so that guy in the upper right has to be correct. Bottom right has to be correct. That guy's defending up. So he has to be... Yeah, he has to be... I think I overthought it and I screwed it up. Is what I think I did. <laughs> I think I had it and I screwed it up. Because that's correct. That's correct. See, this is tricky. This guy has to be there, which means these two can't be there. But now this guy's getting stabbed in the back on the bottom. See that? So that can't be right. So this has to be like this. But now he's getting stabbed in the head, so it can't be that. It has to be this. Wait, I think we just did it. Nope, now that guy's getting stabbed in the back. Hmm. What if I do this? No? Damn it! Wait a minute. There we go, we just did it, didn't we? Every sword is pointing at a shield. Yes, we just figured it out, that's it. Allow me to show you my puzzle-solving skills. You should expect no less from a gentleman. Correct. Very nice. Well done. Perfect form. You've done the order proud. As for the slackers, consider yourselves training overtime until you get it right. Hmm. Truly impressive puzzle solving. Of course, any member of our community could solve it. But those who can solve it with this level of insight are few and far between. You are no longer under suspicion, although I must advise you to speak and act with more caution henceforth. Today being a special day, we are on an even higher level of alert than usual. Okay, I'll go back over here. Makes it a little better. He seemed a bit touch and go for a moment, but I think we've convinced him. Not only that, but it seems that puzzles are a familiar concept here. Which means that if we run into trouble, we should be able to overcome it through our usual puzzle-solving approach. That's good to know. The puzzle was a bit different than we are used to, though. It seemed to be a puzzle rather unique to this town. And all the more worth solving for, couldn't you say, Luke? Too right, Professor. So what's on our next step? Well, my boy, first and foremost... I suggest we take a look around to investigate this town of Labyrinthia. Alright, let's do it! 
But where should we start? We know next to nothing about this town. That's true, Luke. Although, if you recall, we do know somebody who's been here before us. Ah, you mean Carmine, right? Precisely. It appears that Carmine was able to leave this town and return to London. However, it would also appear that he was unaware of how he managed to do so. So you mean Carmine's activities here may be our only clue to getting back? I'm afraid so, Luke. First things first, let's see if we can find any signs of his presence here. Right you are, Professor. Let's start investigating. Alright. Hmm. Enjoy yourselves while you can. For you'll no doubt soon realize the role you have been chosen to play. Who the hell was I saying that? Huh. 